Hey everyone, Tanika Christopher here with Signature Choice Realty in Valdosta, Georgia, and I'm here with Kayla Ritz of South Georgia Suites, and she is about to show us how to make this beautiful grazing box of chocolate dip treats. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, I'm Tanika Christopher, Associate Broker with Signature Choice Realty in Valdosta, Georgia, and welcome to another episode of What's Cooking Valdosta. Now in our previous episodes, we brought you something a little savory and, and good as well, but today I'm super excited because we have Kayla Ritz here with South Georgia Sweets, and she's brought two of my favorite food groups, fruit and chocolate. So we're excited to get started. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's We're good to do, have you. I know, I'm so excited. We're gonna do a grazing box today. So nice. it's gonna have a whole variety of different fruits and some salty and sweet as well mixed in. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to start with, um, we're going to melt our chocolate first, Okay. but we're going to go over what we're going to have in the box. Perfect. So we're going to do a variety of strawberries, grapes, and raspberries. And then we're going to come over and we're going to add some um, chocolate covered pretzels, Oreos, and Rice Krispies. But we're also going to add some fun little pictures to our Oreos to kind of tie in Choice Realty and all that fun stuff. Nice. So I'm excited. All right, let's get started. So let's start with um, melting the chocolate. Okay. So we're going to use the double boiler method. Okay. Um, cool. Let's see here. So we're going to start, we need a glass bowl. Okay. Um, you want to make sure that your glass bowl does not touch the bottom of the pot. Okay. And we want to bring this to a simmer, mm -hmm. not a boil. Okay. So, so we're going to fill this up. Now, is there a certain water level? Is it okay if the water touches the bottom of the we bowl? We don't want the water to touch the bottom okay. of the bowl. We want it sets maybe about an inch or so inch or two off the bottom okay um and then we're just gonna put this over here okay. on let's see we're gonna put this on about medium heat and let it start to warm up okay. while we um start to wash and prep our fruit awesome so i'm gonna get a colander here and we're gonna pick through and pick out um the prettiest strawberries and make sure there is no um any bruises or okay. rotten spots or mm -hmm. anything so you just want to look for a nice ripe red berry okay. um, all the way to the top i don't see something like this one mm -hmm. here would be a little bit sour okay. so we want to go for more of the bright red okay gotcha so we're going to pick out let's see maybe eight because okay. we're going to do the medium size box so there's two four okay and those six. are beautiful strawberries I know these are they look really good this time of year so it's i love not this hard. time of year because the fruit is just Perfect. I actually grow a lot of my strawberries. Do um, you yes, really? Yes, we have about, okay. uh, we plant about 500 plants a year. These aren't mine. Mine are actually gone out of season, but okay. um, we'd usually do about 500 plants a year. And that oh, wow. goes through February and March and mm -hmm. May, so it's always fun. So. Okay, so we got our strawberries, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go and grab some grapes now. Okay. Let's see here. I'll move these back. Now, is there a particular grape that you recommend the, over? The green ones, I think, taste the best. You can do purple grapes too, but you definitely want seedless. Okay. Um, anything with seeds um, is not as fun. Gotcha. So we're going to do about 12 of these. Okay. And you just kind of want to snip it um, so you have something to hold on to when you dip it. Gotcha. So just a little bit okay. of stem left. So we'll do a couple here. Let's see here. It's easier said than done sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do two more. And you just want to look for, you don't want them to be too soft. You want them to have a nice firmness so they have a nice crunch when okay. you bite into them. Okay. And then for raspberries, um, you want to make sure they're not soft. You want to have kind mm -hmm. of a firmer raspberry as well. Um, and we'll pick out about... Um, about eight to ten of these two and I know for it now this is just for me mm -hmm. but how do you pick out good raspberries when I go to the store usually and you can usually tell I pick up the container and you'll usually flip it over mm -hmm. look at the bottom just to make sure there's no like you can right. tell they're squished or they're mm -hmm. leaking um, 
usually if you don't want them too dark mm -hmm. because usually they're overripe. Oh, okay. So with so a raspberry, you want, you want like something a bright, like a bright red, gotcha. not like dark red. Okay. So um, these actually looked really good today, so we don't have to dig through these too much. Let's see here. We're going to wash these all up and get to drying. Okay. We want them all nice and clean. All right, so we'll go with that. And then you're going to take a large baking sheet mm -hmm. and we can slide that back. And we will just pat these dry okay. because chocolate and water do not mix at uh, all. Yeah, it's... So, okay, so we're gonna wipe up our water here. We can go ahead and start to add this chocolate okay. into it. We're gonna use um, some Gura Deli white today. Nice. There's a couple different methods that you can mm -hmm. use to melt chocolate. Um, you can use a microwave, um, you can use a crock pot, but the double bowler method is the easiest way to temper your chocolate okay, because if you don't gotcha. want it too hot or mm -hmm. too cold um, there's kind of like a sweet a sweet spot for um tempering your chocolate yeah so. it seems like you'll be able to manage it better with the double boiler Dollar, yeah you yeah. can sit and watch it okay um, so we're gonna go ahead and dump this in i think we'll do both bags okay. or at least maybe one and a half we'll start with one and a half and see where that gets us just give it a nice little stir right here and it should be okay to sit for a minute because we're not simmering quite yet. Okay. So we'll let that sit and All we'll right. come back over and I'll show you our little pictures we've got. Uh, I'm so excited. Oh, I wanted to add okay. a nice little special home touch today for this grazing box. So okay. I have printed off some fun little pictures and also y'all's logo. Yay. I'm so excited to use that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I already pre-prepared these. Um, I have an edible um, edible ink printer. So nice. it's all 100% edible. Okay. If you know what, you know what fondant is? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's like a very, very thin layer mm -hmm. of fondant that okay. is printed um, with like food coloring. Oh, so we can cool. do any type of pictures. Um, so we did a realtor box theme. Okay. So we did like a home sweet home. Mm -hmm. And then we've got home is where your heart is. Very cute. And then of course the signature choice. <laughs> you can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a couple other little home sweet homes. Mm -hmm. So we'll put these going face down into um, our Oreo mold. Okay. So we're, you can do any type of cookie that will fit down in this mold. Okay. But we're gonna do Oreos today because I think they're fun and yummy. So Love the Oreos. Once our chocolate gets melted, okay. um, we'll put we'll put it over the top and then we'll put the Oreos in and gotcha. then we'll cover them up. Okay. So we'll go with that next. Nice. So we're all prepped and ready here. And we'll come back over and see how this is doing. Okay. And so once it gets to the point where it's like melting pretty good, do you want to constantly stir? Once, or? Yeah, once it starts to melt completely, you definitely want to constantly stir okay. um, till all the little chunks have melted down and you get a nice smooth consistency. Gotcha, okay. So that will, um, like I said, take five to eight minutes depending on how much chocolate you melt. We've put a pretty good bit in this bowl, so okay. it may take just a little bit longer, but it's already starting to get nice and sticky. Uh, it's, it's crazy how it's, it's like it appeared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All at once it's like, Oh, it's melted. So we're getting somewhere. So the way I look for a good melting chocolate is when you melt, when you finally get it all melted down, mm -hmm. you want it to just kind of fall off okay. kind of like a honey consistency. Yeah. almost. You don't want it to fall off in like, um, chunks. You want it to have a nice, um, flow so to speak. That's a nice consistency. So we're gonna move this over to the counter okay. and then we can start dipping. Fun part. Alrighty. So I think what we're gonna do first is put our Oreos in the freezer. Okay. They're gonna need to stay in there for about five to 10 minutes just so they can nice, get a nice set so they'll mm -hmm. pop right out. So gotcha. we'll go ahead and fill those up okay. here. So you're just gonna wanna put just a little scoop in each of the molds. Okay. Let's see here. So just enough to coat the bottom. Gotcha. Okay. And we're going to do like, let's see here. So just a little scoop in each. And we're going to flip it around here and do the other side. And then we're going to scoot your bowl over and you're going to tap it on the counter to get any air bubbles out okay. and to smooth out across the bottom. Mm -hmm. You're going to take your Oreos here. Just drop them down in there. And then you need to just slightly push them down just a little bit okay. so they can set down in that chocolate. 
And then nice. we're gonna go and we're gonna put a little bit over the backs. Take your mold and just a little bit. We don't wanna put it too, we don't want it too thick mm -hmm. and then you're not gonna be able to bite into it as easy. So just a little bit here. And you'll just take and smooth it out. Just a little thin layer to Very cover. Thin layer. Got it. Yes. All right, we'll flip this around here. Just kind of spread it out a little bit. And like I said, chocolate makes a mess, so mm -hmm. don't worry if you get a little <laughs> bit on your um, on your mold or your container that you're using. So you're gonna tap it on the counter just so we get a nice thin layer mm -hmm. over the tops. And then we're gonna pop this into the freezer for about five minutes. Awesome. So while we're waiting on those, we're gonna go ahead and start to dip. I think we're gonna start with our pretzels and our Rice Krispie treats. Okay. And then we'll do fruit last. Nice. So the easiest way I've found to dip a Rice Krispie treat is to take it and you hold it just, just barely on the top. Mm -hmm. So then you'll put it face down, kind of give it a little shake and then you'll take your spoon and you'll just tap it right here on the side okay. just to get a nice even mm -hmm. um, glaze over the top. So I usually wipe it like that, flip it back, and then we set it on our sheet nice. to dry. Okay. Do you want to try dipping one? Sure. <laughs> I saved you one. Although I should leave it to the pros, but I'll, I'll give it a try. I, I believe in you. Okay. So um, now, drop it. How, how long do we have to work with this chocolate that's already usually melted yep take your spoon okay uh usually anywhere between 15 and 25 minutes depending on your room temperature okay um, it's kind of cool in here so it's i'd get say ready to fall <laughs> <laughs> let's see what you got <laughs> so just wipe the side okay yep okay and then okay. just set it on your baking <laughs> sheet it looks great <laughs> Perfect. Not as neat as yours, no, but No, hey, for a first I try, would eat it. <laughs> hey, exactly. So about 15 to 20 minutes probably at this room temperature. Okay. If it's cooler, it obviously the chocolate's going to um, hard quicker. Right. And so, we could just put it back on the Oh yes, you can most definitely just pop it back over to warm okay. it back up mm -hmm. and then go again. Okay. So most Good definitely. Deal. So I just kind of get it off the sides here. Okay. And then we'll go with our pretzels. So Usually for these, um, we sh we leave a little bit showing just for color. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll take our bowl, we'll kind of lean it over to the side, okay. and then we'll just kind of dip. Let's see, I'll do it like this so that our audience can see. And then we just tap the excess off okay. so we don't have a big puddle of chocolate underneath. And then you just slide, and you set it down. So we'll do a couple of these here okay. for our box. Kind of roll them around, and usually I will have when I'm doing big batches, I'll have a huge pot of chocolate mm -hmm. uh, melting, and then I can just dip it straight down. But right, okay. Usually, so we got these guys going. So I think we're going to go ahead and start with our strawberries. Okay, that's um, kind of what I'm known for. So I can kind of show you how we dip these guys. You can use toothpicks. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's easier to use toothpicks, but I've done so many, I can usually just use it to use the top. Okay. So. <laughs> What you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch the top mm -hmm. of your, um, the, the green, so the leaves, and then you're just gonna kinda stick it straight down and you'll just kinda lean to each side. So you get a nice, smooth and even coat. Right. You give it a little shake and then you'll scrape the bottom and then it goes straight down. So I'll let you pick one That's out. Like perfect. <laughs> uh, and then I wanna, I'll I wanna pick see, this one. perfect. And I'll lean the bowl to the side for you, and you just okay. go for it. <laughs> uh oh, note the leaves. Are okay, try kind another of, one. No, okay. that's fine. You got it. Okay, here we go. Lean to each side. Yep. Go frontwards, backwards. One more side. Whoa! Now Good. give it a little shake. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> it's like it's it. getting ready to fall no, off. The <laughs> you got it. Now put it straight down. Okay. Love it. Good. Yep, you're good. Now okay. go straight to the sheet. Perfect. Look at there. I love it. Look how it's good that honest. looks. That's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let me go ahead and dip the rest of these right quick. Yeah, some of the leaves, whoop, like that one there, ah, you do get a little bit. Like I said, toothpicks do help. So that's what you can like just stick the toothpick in the top mm -hmm. and you can have a little bit better to shake, right. shake the excess off okay. and such. Cool. So for the grapes, about the same thing. Um, we cut them real short so mm -hmm. we can have a little bit to grab on. Okay. We're just going to kind of turn our bowl to the side. We'll kind of just swirl it around until it gets completely covered. So 
I'll just do these like this. Alrighty, and then okay. I'm going to take a Ziploc bag and we're going to fill um, with the rest of this white. We're going to put this in this bag and we're going to fill our raspberries. So oh, we are, we're, okay. They are filled raspberries, so we're not going to dip these guys. Just I gonna... was wondering, I'm like, okay, I got to see this. because <laughs> So, these have, the, so these have the pits that we can right. fill, mm -hmm. so we'll just okay. fill those up with chocolate. Okay. And you get like a nice little burst of chocolate when you... Um, when you bite into them and you can use a piping bag too but mm -hmm. i've found that um ziploc bags work just as good let's see here i'm just going to put the rest of this in okay. here because i'm going to start some dark chocolate um so we can decorate afterwards all right just gonna wipe that in there and you can kind of seal your bag up so you don't have anything spill. Mm -hmm. So you don't want chocolate all over the place. So I'll set this aside. Okay. And then we will fill our raspberry. So you're just going to take, and you can always go bigger, so start small. Okay. So just take and just barely snip your end just to kind of test and see. That's a pretty good amount mm -hmm. coming out. So you just take your raspberry. And you're going to just squeeze until it gets about to the top. Okay. And then you'll just set it down. It may run out a little bit. But that's that's okay. So you're just going to fill each individual raspberry. Just like so. This looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we got all of everything filled up. Okay. So I'm going to go and we will... Um, melt some of our dark chocolate okay. so we can decorate. So How are the part. Oreos? Are the Oreos good? I think they're good. Probably okay. for another two minutes. We'll check on them in just a minute and then we'll um, go over and melt our dark chocolate. Perfect. Okay. I think these guys are ready to pop okay. out. Alrighty. We're going to take another little piece of parchment paper and okay. lay down so we don't get chocolate everywhere. You want me to slide this over? Sure, or? that's okay. fine. Or we can do it actually right here on the countertop. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll gotcha. flop them over right here on the countertop here. So the easiest way I found to do it is just to flip it straight over mm -hmm. and then you'll sit and you'll just press on each one to loosen them up a little bit. And then voila. Oh, they're so cute. I love it. <laughs> Look at the little signature <laughs> choice roller tree. It's so cute. Love it. Love so it. So it. it's nice to put a nice little special touch on each box. Mm -hmm. You know, you can kind of customize it to you. Okay. So um, we'll slide these over to the side while we're waiting I on our other those. chocolate to melt. Okay. And then I also um, have this fun little house uh, mold. So mm -hmm. we're going to put white chocolate into this and we're going to pop this into the freezer for probably five minutes as well. Okay. And so you're going to take your white chocolate again in your bag. And we're going to make sure that the, the end didn't get stopped up because it because it's cold in here. Mm -hmm. It will definitely harden. Okay. Just going to move that around a little bit to loosen it up. And then you're just going to take your mold and you're going to just squeeze and you're going to go all the way around the edge first. And it is kind of a slow go with the mm -hmm. bigger ones. So we're just going to go all the way around the edge and then through the center. Let's see here. Just kind of fill every little spot up. Make sure it's thick enough when it comes out, it won't break. Okay. All right, so we're going to set that there. Then we're just going to tap it a little bit. Just make sure we get all the air bubbles out. And then that will go into the freezer for about five minutes. Cool. All righty, I think that there looks pretty good. Okay. Looks nice and smooth. So we'll go on over here now. I'm going to take um, another Ziploc bag. Let me see where those are at. Okay, I've got another Ziploc bag here. And we're just going to fill this up like we did the white one. Okay. Just going to open it up. And just kind of pour that in there. Alrighty. So we're going to set this aside. We're going to cut, like I said, start small. Mm -hmm. You can always go bigger. I'm just going to snip just a little bit off of this one here. All right. 
Okay. I'm test it right here. Nice and flowy. Okay. So I'm actually going to take the bowl that we used because we don't want to make a mess here. And we're going to um, just pick up each individual item that we dipped and you're going to drizzle it. So fast movements ah, always work better. Okay. If you go, you can go slow as well, but I found if you go faster, it gives you a nice cleaner line. Mm -hmm. We do fun toppings. You can put M&Ms on these. That's always fun too. Yep, yep, yep. And then on your Rice Krispie <laughs> treats, I usually just leave them on the pan. Okay. And we'll just kind of go over like so. It's all on the wrist. <laughs> just like so. We got one more pretzel that we will drizzle. And then on to the strawberries, mm -hmm. my favorite. So we're just going to take that first one we started with and we're going to hold it over the bowl. Fast movements. Okay. And then with this guy, we'll try it. This is the one you dipped, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> so we're going to put like a little fancy swirl on this guy here. So we'll just go, we'll start like this, go around. Okay. Put a little fancy, fancy swirl on this one. And you can hold it however. Um, I just found, found it easier to put one finger behind mm -hmm. and one on top to kind of get it to hold steady. X design on okay. that one. So there's everything we need to put our box together. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so. So what we usually do now is we'll let it, we'll po usually pop it into the refrigerator for five minutes or so so okay. the dark chocolate can set and um, so we're not leaving any fingerprints or anything mm -hmm. on that or anything smearing. So we'll pop those into the fridge okay. for about five minutes or so. Okay. And then um, we will check on and uh, put our box together. Nice. So I'm excited. I, me too. I'm ready to see the finished product and I dig will, in. Yes, that's <laughs> the fun part. That's the best part. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I will um, pop these into the refrigerator for a minute. All right. Hey folks, I'm Janice McMillan, broker for Signature Choice Realty here in Valdosta. We have a passion for helping others. It's what we do best. When it comes to buying and selling homes, we have simplified the process, making it a hassle-free experience for our clients. So if you're thinking about selling or buying a home in the near future, we'd love the opportunity to connect and show you firsthand how we serve our clients with excellence each and every day. Alrighty, so we are okay. back out of the fridge. Everything looks all nice and set. So usually I like to start with the Oreos and then we'll go with the strawberries because it's the next biggest item in the box. Okay. So I think I want to go with that one first. And usually we try to snug these between because mm -hmm. we want to take up every square inch of the box so we can get the most in each box. So we'll set that in there like that. We'll just put one in at a time. I usually like to try to mix the designs up a little bit just mm -hmm. to keep it fun. Straight down with those. Like I said, usually we can fit more in here, but these are really large as this go right. around. So okay. So we're gonna put we're gonna do so some more pretty little, already little cupcake liners okay. in here. Just press those down there and I think we will start with our grapes next. So we're just going to place those down there. Usually we can fit six to eight per cup. Just kind of stack these in here. And if they stick together, that's okay. You mm -hmm. just kind of give them a little break okay. and they will come right off. Alrighty, and then I think we'll do our raspberries next. That pop of red. Yes, I, I love all the color. You definitely, the raspberries add a nice touch usually. Put a couple in each little container just to make sure they each look nice and full. And you can pop some up so you can see a little bit of that white mm -hmm. chocolate. And then um, we will do our pretzels next. So usually we just kind of stack these like so okay so we can um and you can angle them in there however there's six that come in this box here 
And then for our Rice Krispie treats, you're gonna take a knife. Um, any type of knife will work. Okay. And you're going to slice it into bite-sized pieces um, so they fit in the box a lot better. Gotcha. So usually you'll just go down like that. And then like that. And you'll cut back across to have just nice little bite-sized cubes. Okay. So yours looks just like mine. It looks good. <laughs> And then we're just gonna kind of scatter these out all around the box just to oh, kind of make it look nice and full. Okay. Because everybody likes Rice Krispie treats, right? <laughs> it adds a little more texture to it the box sure too. So it's really, really pretty. So we'll just kind of scatter these guys around here. And then sometimes we'll add like an edible gold or such to it too to make it pop a little mm -hmm. bit, just depending on what the client wants. Okay. And then we'll take our little house. And we're just kind of going to stick him down in here anywhere. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's 100% edible. So you can just pick him up. If you want craving white chocolate only, you can just take him to go. Beautiful. So that is our box. Okay. And let's just turn this of around. Course. And we're going to we present it to the course. audience there. It is so Look pretty. Look how pretty it turned yes. out. I love it. Gorgeous. <laughs> and you can't go wrong with like a logo. You know, these make great um, company gifts. Mm -hmm. Or if you're selling a house and want to give one to the buyer, yeah. these make great um, buyer's Wonderful gifts too. Wonderful closing gifts. Yeah. Yes, closing gifts. Beautiful. So. I cannot wait to dig in. Now, how do we order one of these boxes from South Georgia Suites? You can message us on our Facebook page okay. or our Instagram page under South Georgia Suites. You can also um, join our VIP group. So the VIP group gets first access to pre-sales. Okay. Um, we do giveaways in there. I'm joining. <laughs> <laughs> the giveaways, um, we usually try to do a couple each month. And okay. we'll give away like box, half dozen boxes or small grazing boxes. And um, nice. you can message us, like I said, on Instagram or Facebook to order. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so thank much you so for being on this episode of What's Cooking Valdosta. This was so much fun. Y'all go to South Georgia Suites, order your box. The fruit is just lovely thank this time so of year in South Georgia. So I know you're going to enjoy. And thanks again thank you so, so much. much. It was so nice meeting you. Yes. And this was such a fun box. Very break. fun. Yeah. Thank you all so much. And we're going to dig in. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs>